And we have a new patch. Came out like two days ago. But hey, better late than ever. It's a very small patch though. So the tome was added to World 4 Town. 81 different metrics to min max within the tome. Get a total score from that. Compare a score to everyone. Top 50, top 25, top 10, and top 5 I guess. If you don't see anything, you're outside the top 50. And we got 3 tome bonuses. Oh, 3 new ones. Other 6 are from Endgame Alchemy Bubbles. And the other you can buy in shops in World 4 and 5. So let's take a look at it in game so i am top 50 percent it was the same two days ago so at least i'm probably pretty high up in the top 50 but i'm still below 25 or maybe above if you think it like uh, 50 25 i'm maybe here anyway these are my points 12,645. this is the only platinum i have total talent max level Everything else is, uh, well, maybe not so good. You can see some of them are zero. That's because, uh, well, it doesn't save. Even though I did a bunch of spike trap videos, I'd have zero points in that. Total minigame high score, 52 points. Yep, at least that's saved, so I don't have to redo those. So my mining cart high score is four, and you need five for the daily. I have never been able to complete it. My dungeon rank is almost maxed out. I think 41 is the highest. Total bubble level is pretty low. I don't level them up anymore. I just let it auto level. Interesting, my vial and sigil are a lot better than my bubble. I don't think I've gotten any jackpots hits in the arcade. Well, it depends what a jackpot is. If it's the big gem reward, then no. If it's the cucumber guy, then yes. And no kill Roy, of course. And here's a bunch of zero points. Some worshipping. I did this giant killing just now, and I got into... Oh well, I turned it off again. I always play with the prayer thing off, so that means I usually never get any giant anymore. I feel like that's a weird feature to add in. He added in that thing to make everyone turn it off, but then you also lose a bunch of stuff, like the giant. I guess you can just turn it on when you have time to have the game running a bit, get a few giants at least. Pretty low atom upgrade level. Pretty high refinery rank though. I'm completely stuck on my... Equinox Clouds. Most of them are dungeon related or just crazy ones. Like 100,000 cooking things. I think I got like 700 and I pretty much never used them. My total lifetime is maybe 1,000. So yeah, good luck with that 100,000. Total pet breedability level is pretty low. People are really spamming that. It's a bit surprising actually. 75 artifacts found so far. Just a bit above average. I assume like this is 50%. And if you're above it, well, you're a bit better. Or it could be this is just the max and uh, I am this far away from the max. But then again, this doesn't really have a max. So I guess it depends what it is. This one is probably, if this is 50%, then I'm a bit above 50%. But this one has a clear max, then eventually everyone will be here. Yeah, my stupid snail reset. I think I had like 13 before. Then it crashed down to zero. So now game is completely useless, nothing I do matters. The snail was kind of the worst feature in the game, I think. A pure gambling feature that is so extremely important. And is 100% luck based. And surprisingly, my account level is too low for this. I guess this is why I am only 50%. Because a lot of people have uh, unlocked all of this. That's the only reason uh, I'm not uh, the top 10 or something like that. I haven't focused on my experience. Yes, that must be why. Anyway, I actually got some uh, blue tome pages here. What happens if you drop four of them? Do they just vanish? Well, I guess it didn't work at all. I gotta split them up. Let's see, what is this bonus? New tome bonus. 90% skill efficiency. Oh, that's, uh, depending on how that works, that's kind of massive. It's gonna help with these sample things because now i gotta redo all my samples it seems i guess this is a good reason to do it many of them are very old i'm gonna try to drop two more i don't think that did anything so there's no reason to keep buying these i guess um, but i don't have uh, enough of the red tone pages yet didn't buy them on day one so now it's gonna take me a bit longer to get them i get two of these a day so here you can see world 5 mpc sells the 
red pages and the world for mpc sells the blue well i guess we can do something real quick here we can get the most poor cubs hell in inventory so if we unlock that and put them in here and then max this out here we go 35 million is my inventory cap not bad let's do this money thing as well and there we go 1476q a bit above average as well anything else that quick and easy to do fastest time to kill a chaotic e font in seconds i think that's probably one of those aoe skills so i don't think this guy is very good at it he can auto e font very easy i made a video of that a long time ago of course it was just a squire back then oh wow 11 that's almost max i guess i'm gonna try like see and hunt i should be able to one shot it maybe if i just pop one of those oh no it failed um oh shit it didn't work at all well it almost worked perfectly maybe if i upgrade this skill a bit summons up to 20 whales on nearby monsters maybe i was too far away because we got this arm far away that didn't get hit. Let's see in 10 seconds. Let's try it again. Run up here. Oh shit. Well. Yeah, well. I could do that a bit better. I think I'm gonna just run up here. Click the skill and shoot him maybe. We just attack the head straight away. Yeah, so that's the max points. I assume this is the max point with this color but i guess i can see if it works again if we try the perfect way to do it oh no well uh, this wasn't ready yet well i guess i can just quickly uh, manually do this okay so the plan is to click his head do the whale what the hell i got stuck what the hell is doing oh my god I thought he fixed this bug. Apparently not. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Um, well, he will just die, I guess. So uh, that was a fail. Okay, new plan. Click here, then use the this thing. Apparently gotta take this road to get there. Okay, let's do this. Go here. Shoot him. Oh, did he actually... Uh... One shot him with that now. Oh well, that should have been the fastest possible, I think. We had seven before, now we have three. Yeah, I think our points went up as well. So yeah, that's the, the tome. Very fun feature, actually. Gives us a very easy way to, you know, min-max the game. And give you a goal in the game as well. Now you can see, oh, I'm slacking in stamps. Well, let's upgrade them a bit more. And my card is pretty weak for some reason. I can't do five stars yet so i guess that's the reason mainly yeah i'm not gonna well 38 more cards maybe i could do that but oh well some of these guys i could probably max out a bit easier a lot of the resource ones are pretty bad the monsters are all four star except the world six of course and the dungeon oh yeah this is pretty bad i feel like i should massively boost the drop rate of this this is insanely low i haven't gotten a single one from the world three i think only two of the world two of course i haven't done those much but to not get a single one is just crazy i do have uh, some of the four star cardifier things but i'm not gonna do that if you're not passive because if i'm not gonna use you why should i care speaking of uh, four star cardifiers in the gym shop you can actually buy two of them for one gem each so i highly recommend you do just that and don't just use it on the first card you see Try to think how easy and how hard it is to max out. Sure, I can use it on this, but uh, it's very easy to just mine some ore, you know. 101 more cards. It's gonna cost you thousands of keys, most likely. Well, I will save mine anyway. And I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.